Next now we are looking at the Asus Z87 Pro so it's actually a more mainstream but higher end as compared to the Z87 A and C so uh, the, it's, it's very, it, there's a one step feature that you can see that you know is uh, definitely a higher end model as compared to the previous one uh, it's firstly the dual intelligent processor 4 so you're getting the best digital performance uh, in terms of uh, circuitry design uh, in this motherboard so let's take a look at this motherboard as a whole overview and firstly you can see it's a high-end motherboard where you can see you when there's LED postcodes as well as the on button. So definitely not features that uh, are seen in entry-level motherboards. So we also have a uh, BIOS flashback, uh, so you can flash a BIOS if there is a BIOS failure as well as a direct key over here. And a few USB 2.0 headers over here, uh, as well as your TPU switch. But let's take a look at the whole thing. Uh, so here the socket they have a 1150 uh, Z80 uh, that supports Z87 new processors, uh, eight pin uh, EPS uh, power connector here, as well as your 24 pin connector at the side. Uh, so it's easy for um, quick access from your uh, for your case uh, chassis. So they connect the 24 pin easily. Uh, four DIMM slots over here. Uh, that supports up to 2800 megahertz DDR3 speeds with overclocking. So let's take a look, we have a first uh, PCI Express X1 slot followed by X16, this is full X16 slot uh, both physically and electrically then we have two more PCIe X1 slots as well as another uh, PCIe Express X16 physical slot but it only runs uh, X6 as you can see with the pins it only reaches here then lastly we have uh, PCI X, another PCI X1 so I believe this is both and. Uh, SLI as well as a crosswire enabled. So let's take a look at the side. We have uh, six SATA 6 gigabit per second uh, connect, uh, SATA ports uh, directly native from the Z87 chipset as well as another two, which I guess is also uh, uh, 6 gigabit per second based on a different chipset. Uh, as compared to the lower end, uh, uh, low, the lower end models, you can see that the heat sinks are much, the heat sinks and uh, design is actually much better on this. Um, motherboard and uh, we can see an improved power circuitry as compared to the entry level so we're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 probably 12 and probably higher uh, uh, power phase for the CPU and we have a nice uh, soft bridge uh, heat sink over here as well and lastly at the back let's take a look at the IO port um, we have a PS2 port as well as uh, 4 USB uh, 3.0 ports and then we have this wireless AC so it's actually one of the nice uh, innovations from the new Z87 motherboards we have a wireless AC uh, supported SPD for, uh, as well as HDMI out, uh, the VGA as well as DVI, DSAT and your gigabit internet as well as two more USB 3.0 and an 8 channel audio out so that is a quick overview of the ASUS Z87 Pro motherboard Thank you.